Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Louise and today I've got a really exciting video. I'm packing for my first ever archaeological dig and I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing. So on Monday, today is Saturday, I am going to be driving to Shropshire to do a dig with Dig Ventures, which is a company who do crowdfunded archaeology, and to dig at the remains of a 13th century castle in the grounds of an Elizabethan hall. I'm going to link a link below to the site I'm digging at as it was in, featured in the news and BBC News um, if you fancy having a read. So yeah, I thought I'd document what I'm taking with me for me to maybe laugh at in the future or for you to laugh at right now or maybe it'll be useful for some other people packing for a dig. And yeah, it's just a fun way to document my dig process. Got the, got the fedora out, number one essential, says so Indiana Jones. Please don't worry, I'm not following Indiana Jones as the epitome for archaeological manner. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's just get straight into it. So I am camping for a week, so that will give you an indication of why I'm taking so many clothes and stuff later on, and a tent. Um, I'm going to save that all for the later in the video, as I know you're all here for what's in my archaeology bag. And so yes, this is my archaeology bag. I've got a it's got a haversack, it feels like great material and it's got these buckles on and I decided to put some pin badges on it, these are my Back to the Future ones and then these are some other ones I've got to just jazz it up and show it's mine and I have a hat clipped on the side because it's meant to be it's meant to be a heat wave in the UK, like 40 degrees so I'm going to get hot and I also have this kneeling pad that doesn't quite fit in um, but that's to kneel on so obviously when my knees start to ache from digging so I'm going to open it up, start with the more boring stuff like insect repellent and sun cream because I have really bad reactions to insect bites and some hand sanitizer and tissues and stuff because I also have hay fever and it's nice to stay nice and clean. Then I also have my sunglasses which are my prescription sunglasses. Yeah, you know what sunglasses are. Um, is it meant to be bright? Then this is a waterproof pouch for my phone for if there's any like, you know, dampness under the soil. I can keep my phone in that so it's nice and safe. We also have some gloves. These are for digging in. Um, I got two different kinds because I didn't really know the difference. So these are like thicker ones. Like that. And then these ones, other ones are fine knit gloves. They're a bit more fine. I'm just going to um, see which I prefer to wear, which is easier. And yeah. I don't actually need to take any tools with me, um, Dig Ventures do provide these, I just wanted to get these for myself because I would quite like to do more digs in the future so I think it's handy for me to get it for myself. I also have my Archaeology Skills Passport and this is from the Charter Institute for Archaeologists so you can get this signed off when you're on a dig by your supervisor to show what kind of skills you can have and you can show this to other people in the future say look I can do this, it's in here. Um, which should hopefully be a really um, useful thing for me to have. What's next? What's next? What's next? This is like my pencil case, which has this has a small tool set. Um, I'll get it all out. Um, so I've added Sharpie, Biro, pencils, ruler, and a small pair of scissors to this, as I think that could be handy to have on site. And then inside, it's also is me making a lot of noise. A small tool set full of like little tools. So when you want to get into, I have no clue if this is focusing like nitty gritty parts when excavating so hopefully that should be nice and handy to use and I also have this notebook so I'm going to try to keep a dig diary of things that I find things useful, things I want to research, other things that happen and it's a cool Back to the Future notebook because Back to the Future is my favourite film series fun fact then last, last but definitely not least my trowel um, yes, yeah, it's a four inch trowel I believe, but oh, no, I know it is, I bought it, four inch trowel, and yeah, first trowel, very excited for it to get some use as it's never been used, it's brand new, so I'm super excited to get it used. Also in my bag, I will obviously be adding snacks, water, mints, what's it, but I'll probably wait till the day of the dig to do that. So next I'm going to talk about for like the clothes, toiletries, what's it, other things that I'm taking um, on my dig, which we're all going to be going in this apart from a few things, in this massive rucksack because I feel like taking a suitcase to a campsite in the middle of a field will look a bit like Elwood's arriving at Harvard but a camping equivalent. So yeah, 
uh, nice and big to fit everything in for the whole week. Um, I am driving down so I can leave things in my car too, so my tent and stuff are already in the car. So starting with shoes, I have two pairs of walking boots, one um, that go up to my ankles and one that cover my ankles for a bit more support. Um, these are going to be used for digging in. And um, yeah, that's an essential really. I am also knocking over the tripod. I also have a pair of um, trainers just for the evenings and a pair of sliders for um, knocking around the campsite. And then I have some trousers. I've got a pair of waterproof trousers that come in this nice little bag. So nice that they packed down so small. I have a pair, two pairs of trousers mainly for digging in, but I might take a few spares um, just in case. These are from the calf one. These are a pair of shorts that are like a nice material for flexibility and moving in. And similarly, these are some trousers that also like zip off into shorts, which is giving dad vibes, giving dad vibes, but they're very comfy and feel like they'll be quite practical as they've both got loads of pockets in and good for moving in. And yeah. I've also got a fleece to throw on in the mornings because my dig time was originally 9 till 5. However, it's been changed um, from starting at 6 in the morning to finishing at 2 because of this massive heat wave we've got going on in the UK. Um, so it might be a bit more chilly when I wake up, so I've got a fleece to throw on and it might be nice to let um, if I'm cold at, at, night, at the night time, just to throw on. I've got another cap, which is a grey one and there's a black one attached to my bag. And I think I've got to take the Indiana Jones fedora, you know? I've got to. And for t-shirts to dig in, I've just got loads of like gym t-shirts which I've sweat wicking and a few nice playing um, cotton ones as I'm not really sure what to expect of what I'll prefer to dig in personally so I've got a few to try and I think get dirty and then I'm also going to be taking more clothes so like you know relax in the evenings like some jeans, t-shirts, nicer tops and more t-shirts just to throw on and then obviously underwear and stuff so yeah that kind of sums it up it's not that interesting my clothes wear but just to let you guys know what I'm taking if you were interested hold on, hold on how can I forget my onesie. I'll be taking a few other pyjama sets but I've got a onesie to go over it in case the nights are chilly and it's a penguin onesie. That's, that's, that is the coolest thing that is going into this bag. 100% the coolest thing. Moving on to toiletries. I just have this bag which is just filled with like shampoo, conditioner, uh, spare sun cream, painkillers, other tablets and potions and pots and things that will cure me if anything happens to me. Then <laughs> That was, that was very over dramatic. And then I also have a first aid kit. Um, I think it's got like 90 odd pieces in of like plasters and things, you know, in case, in case any accidents happen. I'm very clumsy, so should be well prepared just on the safe side. I also have this new microfiber towel I got as it bundles up really nice and small, but it's like a full sized, a full sized towel. Um, and it's a nice green, because it's green. I like the color green at the moment. And I also have this mosquito net thing, um, which is a bit weird, but I get really bad reactions to insect bites, so I want to be prepared. So this is the sleep in. It just goes over your face. Yeah, I might not end up using it as it does look a bit funny, but it's it's nice to have in case I do need it. And then just some masks and things. Um, yeah, in case, you know, they're just nice to have on you these days. In what I'm calling the miscellaneous section of the the tour, it's a tour I guess. I've got this mug um, which I just got from a trip to Germany so I just thought it's a nice mug to take. Um, it's quite robust, it survived in a suitcase, it should survive this and I've just <laughs> filled it with loads of tea bags. I've got gone for peppermint and wild berry if you're interested in my tea choices as yeah who doesn't like a cup of tea? I, I'm British after all, I'm gonna have to have tea at some point. <laughs> also as I'm gonna have so much free time I'm taking a, a, a load of books I'm not taking all of these, but this is my short list of books that I'm going to take, and I'll give you a really quick review. Um, How to Kill Your Family is a fiction book I've been wanting to read. Um, I promise promise it's fiction. I promise. Um, Britain BC, if you've just watched what should be out by now, my previous video on books that are on my TBR, these were all featured in it. I'm finally plowing through that TBR. Um, Handbook of British Archaeology, it, it might be useful if I want to look some things up and have a read of. So yeah, there's that. Short History of Drunkness and another one, if you want to know more about why I'm reading these books um, go watch my previous video, I'll link it somewhere. Buried by Alice Roberts is what I'm currently reading and loving it. I actually managed to get a signed by the author edition, not to, not to brag. 
Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the first one in this series, which was Ancestors. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm about 40% in. Uh, if you want a full review, let me know on any of these. The First Kingdom, All That Remains, and Scenes from Prehistoric Life. I'm not expecting to read anywhere near this amount, but I am taking my car so I can take a load of books with me and I have a lot of free time because then we're finishing digging at two, so I just thought best save than sorry to have a ton of books and none of the books. I'm also going to be taking my power bank um, to charge my phone with. This one I got a couple of years ago, it's got a solar power on so you can leave it in the sun to recharge the pack itself. Um, I'm just charging it up right now actually, but it lasts quite a while. It's also got a massive torch on it. If my other torch went out, I have a head torch knocking around somewhere too. I've also got some headphones. Um, these are noise cancelling headphones. Um, these are my favourite headphones. I also have a pair of earphones if needs be. I like to sleep with them on, especially if I'm sleeping outside. I think they'll be nice and handy. Also got a small A4 sketchbook if I decide that I want to do a little bit of drawing because I quite like to do drawing. Also there might be some finds that come up at the site that someone would like to draw and yeah. You know, if it comes up, I'd quite like to try that. I've also got some card games somewhere that I'm also going to be taking, you know, for fun things to do in the evenings with people. Um, my favourites are Peas for Pizza and Exploding Kittens at the moment, and they're really fun games. But that, I think, is everything.